Good morning, it's Joe with Jolie Farms in Ecuador. Just wanted to bring you a little update on our YouTube problems that we've been having. So uh, we've had some back and forth with the support team, as they call it. And um, as you know, I've had some problems with this um, ineligible thing on, on our closed captions. And so the reason I'm so uh, passionate about this is that I am hearing impaired myself from birth. And so I can't watch any videos or TV shows or anything else without subtitles um, or captions, whatever you want to call it. So, um, yeah, so I'm kind of passionate about that. And I know there's several people on our channel who have specifically requested the captions in Spanish, and we're trying to help them. We figured out a workaround, and so Lisa and I figured that out on our own. And so things are in a little bit different place than what they were before, but we're able to make that work now. However, that little ineligible with the lock that you see in this picture right here is still there. So yesterday I get a email from uh, the support team and I'm not gonna use the person's name even though I'm pretty sure it's a fake name. It says, I hope all is well. This is so-and-so stepping in for the team. We already heard back from our internal team. Let me share the information with you. There are no changes made on the subtitles option other than the interface. The functionality is still the same. Once you click on add language, you can click on the pencil icon and upload the .srt file as a subtitle. By the way, we already figured that out. Uh, please note that trying to auto-translate the subtitles will not work for auto-captions as they are only available in the video's default language. You may refer to this Help Center article for guidance. I hope this helps. And so my response then was, no, you still didn't answer the question of why is that ineligible with a little lock next to it doing on the screen? We've never had that before. Why is that all of a sudden showing up in place of where we used to access those features that you're talking about? So, um, you know, YouTube has been a monster to work with, in my opinion. Um, things are not very self-explanatory. We have to figure it all out as we go. Um, we rely on other creators' videos to help teach us how to navigate YouTube itself. So that's, um, I don't know, I would say that YouTube could be a, do a better job at providing instructional video themselves. Um, we've had a terrible time trying to get paid, still haven't been, been paid yet, and, uh, you know, no answer for why that is. And so this is the kind of support we get. Not very good, YouTube, if you're watching this, you guys need to step up to the plate a little more. You're making the lion's share of this money out there. Um, it won't be long before we will demonetize ourselves and stop even trying to earn any money at this. And quite frankly, stop our viewers from having to watch some pretty junky ads. So that's our update. Hope you enjoyed. Ciao for now.